Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your location at this time of the day. Okay, I am still updating you with the breaking, trending news, what is going on in Nigeria and outside. As you know me, I am always saying it the way I see it. Breaking, Namde Kanusus Kenya over extradition to Nigeria. So that is um, uh, the news I will be sharing with you guys. Uh, but before I go into details of that, don't forget to subscribe. Basically, this is what we do here. Uh, we keep you updated uh, with current uh, information, breaking news, what is happening around the world. So we already know the background details of the whole story. So I am not here for details on that, how Namdekanu, um, what brought Namdekanu to DSS custody um, as we speak right now. So we know the details of that. So the developing story is that the leader of IPOB, uh, Mazin Namdekanu, has sued Kenya over his extradition to Nigeria. So, um, it was um, through his brother, Kingsley um, Kanunta, okay, uh, that sued Kenya on his behalf, according to court papers um, that was seen by um, journalists. So in his petition presented by um, Luchiri and company advocate, uh, Kanu argued that his arrest in Kenya and subsequent extradition to Nigeria in June were unconstitutional, and those named as respondents are Kenya's Interior CS, Director of Immigration, Director of Criminal Investigations, OCPD, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, and the Attorney General. Okay, um. We remember how the Nigerian official claimed that Kanu was brought back uh, to face trial after he jumped bail and went on the run in 2009, 2017. So the petition revealed that Kanu was in Kenya to seek medical attention for a heart challenge and for IPOB related work. It further revealed that the agitator arrived. That is Namdi Kanu arrived at uh, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in May from Kigali, from Kigali, that is um, Rwanda, on an East African tourist visa. It further said that Kanu went to the airport on June, June 19 to pick someone but never returned to his residence. That is at Popu has apartment on Kitale Lane. So um, that is the update I have for you. Uh, so far, so good. We already know, like I told you guys, um, the I told you guys, we already know the background details of the whole gist. But just a recap, according to Nam Kanu's disciples, Simon Egba, in case you are yet to get that story, you can check my previous video, that um, more days will be added to um, the Monday goes down seat at home okay that is according to um simon egba namdekanu's disciple um he said coming from next week that more days good you can check details of that story in my previous video okay that more days for seat at home uh will be added so as to compel the southeast governors already they have spoken they have uh, shown indication that they will be working uh, politically to see Buari and other stakeholders on how to give Namdekanu soft landing, as in the bottom line, how to get Namdekanu released after some seed at home that has been crumbling the Southeast economy. Okay, so that is the update I have for you. Uh, let us discuss on the comment section if you have anything to contribute and don't forget to subscribe uh, and turn on your bell notification. See you guys in another video.